Making the Bond movie was one of the biggest and most elaborate projects I've ever done um, with video. It was, I've been spending the last years of my life making movies and I finally put all my knowledge my, in together and tried to put, like, mix, you know, my talents over here, my talents over here together and make this one great movie. And I, I did that and I think I put together a pretty good piece of movie. It was only 20 minutes though. I had intended originally on having like an hour and a half full feature presentation, but uh, I was filming a lot of this in June of uh, this past summer and I went away for the whole month of July. I was up north and then I had I came went to military camp. By the time I got back I already been gone a month and I had kind of fallen out of the loop and I was really busy with other projects so I just didn't get to find finish it. So I just finished it this past fall and uh, finished them. The cost of it, it was actually one of the most expensive movies ever made. It's a cost of about around $100. Um, it doesn't sound like a lot for a movie, but it is for one of my movies, a 20 minute movie. It's one of them. Usually I don't even spend any money on my projects. Um, but I didn't have to pay, don't get the wrong, I didn't have to pay for all that, I paid for some of it. But also, on a producer of the movie, Bob Hill, um, Bob Hill that is, he uh, helped pay for some of the movie. Now, but, uh, some people ask me why it happened like this. Uh, why, why the movie ended with Bond getting shot out a window and smacking on the floor. Um, the reason I did it like that is because I'm always pissed off about how Bond always gets away with everything. I mean, Bond can walk in a room, there's 20 guards with machine guns aiming at his eyes. Not his face, his head, but his eyes. He still gets away. He still can kill every single toilet guy and walk away with a scratch on him. With like one scratch. And it's, that's so unrealistic. That's not how it happens. I don't, granted, he is James Bond. He's a fictional character. But I wanted to have it more realistic life. So I had him getting, you know, shot. Because usually you just don't get away with shit like that. You get shot down and you die. Horrible. Horrible death. Horrible deaths. Horrible deaths. Horrible deaths. Horrible deaths. Horrible death. So I had Bond die horrible death. Uh, but everybody else, all the other, all the main characters in the movie died horrible deaths. Um, Tanya, who was the kidnap victim, um, she was driving her Mercedes uh, after I rescued her on the side of um, Hawaiian Cliff and plummeted horribly to the death. She smacked rocks, the car blew up, and her car just feasted on the sharks and minnows. Um, Ali Harwood, in the movie she played, a uh, little girl, a little cousin of Tanya Wallen. Um, she died of cervical cancer later in the uh, movie. Just natural causes. Um, Q, uh, he died of testicular cancer. Yeah, see, after Bond uh, left him in the end, uh, towards the end of the movie and went off to do his missions, uh, Q got a call eight minutes later um, from his doctor telling him he had testicular cancer and he had three hours left to live. Well, Q then became a raging alcoholic. He drank himself to the floor. And actually, I mean, he only had three hours of live. He actually died of alcohol poison before he, the pro testicular cancer killed him off. So the autopsy came up and uh, it was cleared away. Um, Dank, he died multiple times in the video. He played multiple uh, uh, characters like that. But eventually he was bludgeoned to death by neo-Nazis operating out of South Wall. Uh, Neebs, the guy who um, shot down out the window towards the end of the movie, you know, you know he just shot him out and fell out. If you notice at the very end, he's standing there looking down at Bond's dead body. Well, when he turned, he slipped and fell on a rail and plummeted to his death too. And actually, his body landed right next to Bond. So, when you know, someone, when they found the two bodies, they um, thought they were both gay couples who fell out a window. But they weren't. They died. Um, that was the main characters who died in the movie. Also, there probably will be an, a sequel to this movie where the characters are magically, you know, reborn. Um, the Oscar. I, I won an Oscar for this movie here. Right here. Um, here's a picture of me receiving it at the Academy Awards. Uh, that was it was fun to win that Oscar there. Um, I didn't prepare a speech and I was you know pretty much just I just got up my Oscar and left. I didn't even do anything. 